welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. This is part three of Mini Arts British M3 Lee Scale 1 to 35. In part two, I concentrated on building the lower part of the hull. In part three, I'm going to be carrying on uh, with the hull and uh, building up the upper part of the, hull, of the hull. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. So I'm starting with a little bit of tidy up before uh, I move on. So I'm just um, sanding down uh, some little bobs that were um, on these parts that I placed on in, in episode two or part two. And I'm fi finishing off the side wall here, just putting the end uh, parts on. I thought she was meant to include this in um, part two of the build, but I forgot to include it in the video. So I'm just um, tagging it on at the beginning of this part. Now we'll come to the first turret um, of the build. Now, depending on what variant um, a build is deciding to do here, is, is going to greatly dictate um, how you're going to build this. The inside components that I'm building here, um, that's for the um, movable gun itself. So the gun obviously can move left or right or up and down. If you put it on the shroud, which I did, you don't actually have to uh, build this part up like the um, other parts but like with the um, clear windows and that uh, I thought I would uh, build it to see how I felt to see whether uh, I was going to uh, want them moving or not in the end I like to shroud so I put it on so there was no need for it to move so um, uh, as you can see there once I put on uh, some of the a little cable um, bracket so it's back to the turret there and uh, I'm just putting in the main mechanism now which will move up and down and then it's back to the inside and placing in the brackets to hold the actual um, whole unit in place and then once that's on the um, top part goes on that just um, goes onto the side here and for the outer armor section of the turret there's just a little set side wall that has to be placed on. This goes at um, another strange angle, um, so I had to be careful uh, of the exact placement here. Took a little bit of figuring out how, how to place it on. And then it was up onto the side walls of the upper hull uh, of the tank. Like, like the lower hull, there's uh, some windows in that to place in, so I'm just putting in the framework there. Uh, and again, uh, with the clear parts, the clear parts can go on at this point, uh, but I decided not to put them in. Uh, I'm also drilling a couple of little holes here for the uh, grab bars, for the, the, the handles for the doors. And then it's back to the turret and I'm playing the inner mechanism inside um, the actual out of outer armour part. Um, test fit this here to make sure everything uh, moves, but uh, at this point I decided I wasn't going to move it, even though it does move. Um, once the shroud's on it, it will not move. So as you can see there, I'm just putting on a, another couple of opponents, they're just stabilizing up components to fit it in. So um, once it goes in, the, there is a, a little um, location uh, area to line up to fit it in. You shouldn't have any issues here, it might just fit it on without any, any issues at all. And once I was happy with the dry fit, it was just a matter of uh, placing it on. Just uh, I had to make sure that the um, sidewall was connecting to the lower hull properly, so there was no gaps obviously. And once the turret was in, it was able to start building the um, upper hull um, in its entirety. So the first uh, side panel is going on, and then the remaining panels. It's worth noting these uh, some of these panels are at a slight angle when you place them on it. So um, just the shape of the tank. So you do want to make sure that you you have got the right angle. The the location points uh, do feel that way, so that um, you can't get lost while building it. But it is worth um, taking note. So here I'm just uh, building up some of the um, ammo boxes or storage boxes that go at the back of the tank. And now I can fit the uh, front part of the armour for the upper hull. I always think it's better to uh, fit these once 
the um, side panels are semi-dry so I have got room to maneuver if um, they have to be squeezed shut or taken apart slightly so you ensure a proper fit and just a little bit of bar of armor plating uh, goes on the front here the two storage boxes are uh, a number of photo etch uh, parts to go on these are mainly just uh, little holding brackets that go on each one has to be bent um, into position before placing it on now I, I bent them before putting them on but um, if they're too small uh, for you to do place them on when they're flat and once they're dry um, just anchor them down and gently lift them up with your finger to the dial, uh, required position the two armor bars that go on the front here they, they conform to the uh, curvature of the front of the tack the um, location points are fine on it because of the shape of it though um, you may have to push them right in to, to get proper contact um, and they only go one way as well um, so don't try to force it, try fit it to make sure uh, you know exactly the positioning. There's some more hatches there to be built. Um, once more I, I'm not pl placing in the clear, clear parts, I'm leaving them out. And where required I'm just drilling the holes again once more for the grab handles. This is the back armor plates that I'm actually working on here. Um, this is the little aerial uh, stand or sensor uh, thing that uh, goes on. I'm not exactly sure of the proper name. Now, um, I built mines up here, but I did actually manage to snap it off later on in the build. But it was a simple case of uh, fitting it back on. So you may wish not to uh, attach it now, even though the instructions say attach it now. You can get away with attaching it later. And it's the same with the, all the little add-on parts um, that you're placing on. You can place them on now as per the instructions. But just be aware there is a lot of handling uh, while you're building it. And you may end up breaking some of the grab bars uh, and things like that. So um, it's something worth to take note of. I did actually manage to break one. So as you can see there, I'm starting to put on the uh, rear um, armour. And it's essential that you follow the instructions here um, in the uh, proper order. The, the order is not numbered on the um, instruction sheets, but just have a look at it. And the reason for that is because of the different angles. Um, each one will act as a guide for the next part going in. So if you follow it through with the instructions, you shouldn't have a problem. Plus then one of the main doors. And like all these doors, I uh, uh, said, you can have these open or closed. I'm having mine closed it's just for ease of building and my personal preference but the um, the detail in this kit allows for them to be open and to show uh, a lot of the inside of the tank so once I've got one side done I'm just moving on to the opposite side it's built exactly the same way Back to the uh, rear and um, again there's a uh, lots of small photo etch parts uh, to be placed on here. Don't worry if you're not comfortable about using photo etch or it's too small for you. Um, I left some of it off because it was just too small for me. This is um, a, a little bar that goes um, in front of the ra radio grid um, at the very rear of the tank. Now it's telling you to cut out um, a, a section here which I did but in the end um, I, I didn't see why that this had to be cut out, so um, I would suggest leaving it. Um, this is it going on now, and it goes on just um, behind, well, in front of, I should say, the um, exhaust system. And then the top covering goes on. The top armament or cover um, comes in two parts. There's this... Uh, little u-shaped u part here uh, again there's more photo etch parts to put on and um, some little detailing uh, as well I, I would suggest you put the detailing on now don't leave this detail until the last because it can get a little bit cramped there so it's uh, wise just to put it on now and it's just like the parts you're putting on are 
are just little caps and things like that. I don't know the proper terms for them, but they're dotted around. Then the radiator grill goes on. I would suggest actually putting this one um, near the end, but it's very thin and flimsy, so it was uh, prone to bending. And then that just gets placed in it at the back of the first armor plate that it was placed on. The, the, uh, the fit isn't tight enough, it'll cause you a problem getting it in. It is quite a nice fit. There's a, another couple of photo edge parts that go right on the front of the tank here. Um, again, with my camera, it's not quite small to uh, show. I can zoom in, but it would just be a bit blurry. So, um, this is the lesser of two evils, I'm afraid. And under the top section, there's a couple of crossbars that go on. Now, um, the instructions so you can uh, place these on now or wait until the thing's in situ. I put them on now just for ease. And each one has its own location run, um, so it's um, quite easy to place them on either way. And then to fit the top section, uh, it was quite easy. Um, just make sure that um, you you place the um, gun side, so the Opatrona in far side, would say, and make it easier. I should point out as well that I also put in the clear part for this particular gun sight in. I was going to leave it off. But that was going to be exposed and you would uh, see it quite a bit. So I, uh, I decided to place it in now. And then the last section of the upper part just fits in there. If you place the um, uh, main section in, this should just uh, drop in. And then one of the hatches uh, going on. Again, mines are closed. Uh, but you can also have yours open if you're building the kit. And because the, the clear part's in, I'm having to mask this off. Uh, before uh, the priming and painting so it's just a little bit of masking tape over the clear part and last to go on are the two storage boxes um, at the uh, rear of the tank and this is where I'll end the video it's slightly longer than normal but um, I, I did want to show all the upper hull getting built in uh, one setting uh, as such so if you haven't done so already why don't you check out the channel for my other builds if you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll be kept up to date on all my upcoming builds. Hit that like button, leave a comment and uh, of course share the uh, video. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.